Rich, help me. I'm stuck at Grand Champion. Okay, here's my advice. Win more games. Here we go. Speaking of winning more games, two guys who've won a lot of games. Mohamed Light, Samuel Basoto. Let's go. So looking like a little RG here from Samwell. Hog, I think, from Mo. Nope, minor. Mo running the Viper deck. Well, all right. Is Mo running Evo Tesla here? Notice the golden chair has returned, and you see the Clash Royale uh, wrapping paper decorating the background as well. Protection Miner. Someone said that's not the Viper deck. I don't know the Viper deck. There's a new deck. There's Vipers. Evo Valk in front of the Little Prince here. And Miner not, and that's an interesting interesting play there by Mo. Miner going to the tower, not to the Firecracker. Fishboy tries to protect, and Mo gets chip damage instead. Evo RG to the left lane, regular RG to the right hand lane for Samwell, who will get one shot from the Evo on that left hand side. And might get one on the right, and he does. Dual lane damage for both players as we go into Sudden Death Overtime. No one's created a significant lead, but it is Samuel Basoto out ahead, 24-25 on the right-hand lane. No, I know who I know who Viper is, but I don't know what the current format of Hog XE is right now. I don't know how his deck may have evolved with the evolutions. The ranks on the left-hand side are what their uh, points are in Path of Legends, their highest points in ranked play. Little Prince getting chunked up very quickly. Arrows clear. Evo RG to hold. 23-14 to 21-81. As Mo continues to go both both lanes here. here. Muhammad Light is starting to pull away in the final 30. Cannot give up a, a big moment here, though. Has to get this one taken care of, and he does. Lead extended pretty nicely, but this Evo RG on the left-hand side is serious. Only six Elixir to deal with it. Evo Tesla will get the one stun, which is massive. The RG pulled by the Valk, and that should be enough. Game one going to Mohamed Light. GG well played.
DC the boss saying, Rich, curious about your thoughts on eight finals CRL this year. I've already said it. I said it before earlier. I'll say it again though. Um, I understand the the need to. My guess is that the reason we're going to eight is to reduce the number of days of production. I'm assuming it's going to be two days for World Finals. Maybe it's going down to just one. Um, I'm not sure what the plan is. It's double eight day, um, eight player double elim. Yeah, so it could be just one production day. Might be two. Like I said, I, I don't know. Uh, I would have liked to see it go down. If it's, it was to go down, I think going down to 12 would have been like a good adjustment if they were trying to reduce it from three days down to two. And 12, you could have done a top four, would have had a first round buy. I think eight is a really small player pool for world finals. I think that it's really... It takes a lot of storylines away. It makes it hard. It makes it really insanely hard to compete. I think it dramatically lowers the incentive for lots of players to make an attempt at making worlds and playing in, this, in, the, in the in CRL this season. So I think it's unfortunate, but austerity measures as they are. Let's see. Uh, sorry for the uhs and the ums. I'm just a little bit, like I said, a little stuffed up today. Who is coaching Morton? I'm not sure who's doing Morton today. How much do the coaches get if the person wins? Um, if the coach wins? That depends on the coach and their agreement. Does Momo have a coach? As far as I'm aware, he does. Jeff Wenson. I looked at a seeding tournament for the buys event where 12 players. Those were hype. Also, but also if you're doing a system based on points, then the top then it would give more incentive for those top four spots. But with golden tickets, a seeding tournament for those buys would be cool too. So yeah, I feel you. It feels like pigs should be getting more damage here. And here they go, finally getting a, a decent amount of chip. But you see that the only real way to defend it is to put players in, put troops in line, which then makes the Evo Bomber able to get it. 898 to 1209, drill in. See where the Tesla's being played there to keep the Evo Bomber offline and also to activate King Tower. 90 seconds left. And this is going to be a little more piggy damage here. Evo skip the man. Look at Mo drop everything to try to stop that pig's damage. Drill in, Golden Knight in. Samwell not able to stop at all. Lead goes back to Muhammad Light. Earthquake in, but that should be it. Nice little 2-0 here for the Pharaoh. GG, well played, Muhammad Light. Starting off the preseason bracket phases in the way you'd expect. Oh, never mind. Let's go into our last upper bracket matchup of the day. Well, I like going to RG, and RG aggressive here to kick things off. Yeah. 
an E-Giant set up into the weak side lane by Ta. Um, excuse me, don't you know who I am? We do know who you are. You are the most obnoxious character in the game. Tin Ka asking, why is Mo laughing? Because Mo's always laughing during these matches. A lot of it is his coaches and friends cracking jokes in their chat. Keeping him relaxed, keeping him chill and focused. Who you got in this one, folks? Mo or Ta? Let me know in the chat. Ooh, great NATO out of Ta there. Very nicely done. Got it at just the right time. Had plenty of elixir to do it. Creative. Mo was, Mo was confident there in that moment, right? Fisherman had enough to work against the knight and then turn and get the Electro Giant. Lightning certainly to be a factor here as well. Currently the lead for Muhammad Light, 1438 to now 1592. Muhammad changes lanes into his weak side now. Now the dual lane pressure. And this is a this is a full send here with the Royal Ghost plus Evo Bats. Evo Bats going to do a lot of damage here onto that evolved knight. Royal Ghost chunks down that tower to 655 lead Mohammed as we pass the first 90 seconds of sudden death. Or the first 30 seconds of sudden death. GG well played. Thanks to Vlop. And yes, I have my laptop and then two monitors and my lights. Good looking into my mirror, into my glasses there, newbie. This specific Clash Royale song sounds like it was um, scored by John Williams, the famous film score composer. Like, it sounds like it would be a song that was in Home Alone. Stink Buddy saying, Rich, any tips for a disc golf beginner? Yes. Uh, drive for show, putt for dough. Yes, it's important to learn how to throw the disc far and accurately, but putting is where you will gain the most strokes early on. Also, have fun. It's throwing Frisbees. Bye, Devlop. Good to see you here. Why baby dragon is blue? You know what? I don't know. What happened to that baby dragon? What, what did you do to the baby dragon? What did they... What did you do to the baby dragon? Why is the baby dragon blue? Did someone freeze the baby dragon? Did you spill ink on the baby dragon? Lots of heavy decks here from Ta as he goes from E-Giant to what it looks like Royal Giant here.
Ludwig Gorin and CR Audio would go so hard. I think that would be, I've been saying for a long time, I wish CR had more varied music and you could get, you could unlock different music. You know, they had the, the cool, they had that like rock theme that came out when Evos first came out, which I thought was really cool. It would be cool if they had guest artists do their own takes on the CR theme. Right? Like, get LP to do a CR theme version of his uh, beat. Get Benny Benassi to do one. That sort of thing. Get Korn to do one and drop D. Throwback. 90 seconds left. Mo just in firm control, although starting to give up some damage. It's Wide Eyes Blue Dragon. Hilarious. Hilarious. Mother Witch doing work on the left hand side. Right hand side, Evo Skelly is a little bit late. And the Evo Skellies versus Mother Witch battle is always fun. Thirty-five seconds left. This is a this is a dangerous moment here for Mohammed. Gets it back to the Tesla. That Evo RG was quite threatening. Second Royal Giant down. Skellies plus poison. And Log able to hold here. Tesla and Log and Muhammad Light. Holds up against the Onslaught. Was a fairly threatening bit of attack on the side of Ta. But as expected, Mo's defense pristine. Let's take a look at the final attack and the defense by Mohammed Light. He got in here pretty deep. This Tesla goes down, but Mohammed Light doing a good job of just cycling back to that second Tesla. You're gonna see Log play the Valk working on the right hand, left hand side. Log plus Skellies doing just enough, plus the poison. Now back to Tesla once more. You saw the arrows from Ta trying to do enough to break through. But just not quite. And that's when you see Ta go, all right. All right, that's over. Here we go. Pedro, Mohamed Light, best of three between two of the best in the business. Let's go. And I am personally so happy to see the Magic Archer back in the meadow once more. Pedro goes mortar game one, Mohammed Light, with the Magic Archer and the Inferno Tower. Going to make it hard to get the value from the mortar that Pedro really wants. Faye's asking, what is the Discord for the Clash Royale tournaments? Here you go, one more time. Thanks for the two bucks. I really appreciate the support. And the Evo Wall Breakers Take care of the front end of that mortar. Evo Knight picks up the back end. Little pressure spear on the left. 
And look at that timing. That's interesting. I wonder if there is a timing where that Fire Spirit lets two goblins get away, or if it can only just get one. And Evo Mortar down once more. And a low Inferno Tower here to make sure it connects. Defensively, rather than getting picked up at the bridge. Miner into the back for Pedro. This is a pitched battle here, folks. Clash met Glenn saying, hey, can you give a shout out to my channel for the Dutch? I wish I spoke some Dutch, but shout out to everyone in the home of one of the original greats, Surgical Goblin. What is Pedro's plan here? And interesting, goes Mortar just a little bit inside to avoid the Inferno Tower. Knight to pick up. Poison value. And Miner should go right to the Magic Archer. It does. Goblins predicting it going to the Inferno Tower. Not the correct prediction here. Pedro starting to pull away a little bit. Wall Breakers for pressure, forcing out the log. Pedro doing a good job right now of forcing Mohammed to play defense, defense, defense. Mo does not have a poison here. So really he has to either get minor connections, wall breaker connections, or magic archer value. Log chip is not really gonna do it here. So the more that Pedro can force defense out of Mohammed Light and not let that miner get moving and just defend the wall breakers cheaply, the better chance you're gonna see out of Pedro here. Now, a chance to get on offense. Doesn't get much from it, but the lead is still there. Magic Archer does get the lineup, plus the goblins on the left-hand side. And there you have Mohammed Light coming out to the lead in the final 30 seconds. But again, the minor poison here is a huge problem, and you see how quickly that has gotten back the damage. 1237, now 1099. Magic Archer not getting into lineup areas. Minor down for both players. Goblins do get the pickup, but Poison is in. Mohammed Light ahead. Pedro trying to find somebody to get enough damage down in time, but not going to do it. Mohammed Light takes game number one. Super, super difficult. Let's go ahead, jump into game number two, and see what they pull out. Poison out. Muhammad Light chooses to go with the Evolved Archers as one of his spots. And don't think we're seeing Hog here out of Pedro. And there you go, Royal Giant. And... Not seen much these days, the Skeleton King. This has all the trappings of a Royal Giant deck. The Archer is a little bit funny. But a very similar deck to this one with the Fisherman, Skeleton King, Tombstone, and Mother Witch was one of the most used decks last year. And it is Royal Giant. This is game two here. Muhammad Light won the first game. They haven't updated that on the overlay yet.
and the Evo Bomber are going to do a nice job here. Doesn't quite get the lineup that I think Pedro was hoping for. But now Pedro pressuring courtesy of the reflection. And that Raged Up Royal Ghost will get on tower for a couple of big swings and gets Pedro right back in the game. Mohammed Light does have dual lane pressure, though, with the damage on both the left and right-hand sides. Obviously, right-hand side in more trouble than the left, but Mohammed Light known for getting damage in both lanes early. One of the things players talk about is that Mohammed Light doesn't really get locked into a lane the way other players often will and does a lot of effort to make sure that you're looking at both sides as early as he can. And this time, the Evo Wallbreaker gets exactly what Pedro wanted and opens up a very big lead here. A lot of pros saying the Evo Wallbreaker is deserving of a nerf. And you can see why they say it right there with the insane damage that lineup got. Evo Bomber, I think is what I said. Did I say Wallbreaker? I don't remember. Either way. Four fifty-eight. And Oh, and the piggy lines up for the bomber. Disaster for Mohammed Light. He saw him try to pick up the bomber with the skeleton king at the bridge. But the piggy lines it up, and you see the monk doing some knot back on the royal giant. Muhammad Light with a little sigh there, knowing that that's game over. You saw him try to pick up. Let's see if I was able to grab that replay in time. You saw Muhammad try to pick up the evolved bomber at the bridge. I think I can't remember. If, I can't tell if this is before or after that. Here you go. This is actually it. So you're gonna see the the skeleton king tries to pick up. Man, that's such a such a key play there. Let's back it up one more time. Arrows come down. Mother Witch is gonna come down to work against the the royal ghost, and then evolve bomber high. Skeleton king almost distracts it, but the piggy runs right across the top and gets a huge amount of damage. And I'm not saying Muhammad Light would have won that one, but definitely a different scenario when you're under 300 damage versus when you're over 500 damage. And that was just the shutdown right there. Nicely capitalized by Pedro. And we are one game away from figuring out who our other winner's bracket finalist is. Remember, this is not an elimination game between these two. This is a double elimination bracket. The loser will drop down into the elimination bracket and have a chance to fight their way back into the grand final. He jokes to help him keep his nerves calm. The His team chat is in there just kind of trying to make him laugh the entire time. Because despite appearances and despite his tremendous record, Mo still gets nervous in these competitions. You'd think after the years of success, he'd, it'd be old hat for him, but see, he's laughing already. Way before anything else happens. David Y is saying, how do you spectate in-game? Get these guys on your friends list. And so, yes, you see Muhammad Light running Dark Prince here in anticipation of Drill as a possibility. And this is going to be a lot of damage here early on. Dark Prince continuing, or the Guardian continuing to do a nice job here. MK Ram for Pedro. And maybe that was anticipating that we, he might not see a building out of Muhammad Light in this, in this game.
So big chunk here for Muhammad Light early. 1387 to 2381. And the graveyard in. Mega Knight plus Little Prince. A defensive lightning here to chunk down that giant. But that's tower down. And Pedro just kind of in a funky position here. Goes in heavy on the right hand side. Guardian will come out to get a little bit more defense on the left. And good, but too little, too late. Um, Onyx, I see you put up a super chat, but it's not in English, and I don't know what you wrote. That's a big connection from the Ram Rider. Can the Dark Prince get there in time? And it does! The Dark Prince gets there in time! Wow. You see Mohammed Light laughing there. Maybe feeling got a little bit loose with it. And a connection again from the Ram Rider. Maybe a slight miscalculation on the side of Mohammed Light. He should get one. Does he get two? He does not get two. Mo needs one more good defense. Throws out the graveyard maybe to force... Pedro to play on the back foot instead, and he'll get it. And he'll get it. Mohamed Light and Vitor. Winner is guaranteed $3,500 and will be in the grand final for this event. Andy Volton saying Magic Archer fave, but Bomber bad. Yeah, Magic Archer costs four Elixir and does not give you that one big hit. Whereas Bomber, that Evo, I don't have a problem with Bomber. The Evo Bomber for two Elixir is really overpowered with what it does. Very different cards. Oh, the Mega Knight makes the choice to go a totally different direction and gets a huge jump and slam on the right-hand side. So Vitor playing so aggressively early on and getting a lot of value out of it. And now Mohammed off to play from way behind. Suck at the Ram saying, wait, this is not the grand final? No, because we just saw Droy win. Um, me. The winner goes to the grand final, the loser goes and plays Droy, and then the winner of that one will come back and play in the grand final. how every double elimination tournament has worked for the last four years of Clash Royale. Loon in, Queen nowhere to be found. Going with the Evo Zap, and that's gonna be a lot of Loon damage. The defensive Evo Zap will help, but that Loon going to keep things pretty nice and tight as the Miner for Vitor does a lot of damage. Good opportunistic, good capitalizing on the moment there from Mohammed Light. Defensive minor just to make sure there's no tomfoolery with that Mega Knight. And once more, just the sneak throughs for Vitor wall breakers connect on the left hand side. I think the second time for us seeing this MK wall breaker deck today. And it is doing work. 
Muhammad tries to predict Miner with the Knight behind the left-hand side. Now, Loon up ahead. Are arrows available? They are, but they are late. They will get on to the Archer Queen lead very slim in favor of Muhammad Light right now. Good pickup by Mo on that minor to the inside of the number three spot. And now clearing with the Evo Zap at the bridge. 573 to 544. Keep in mind, folks, that Mo has both arrows and Evo Zap, whereas only Evo Zap for direct tower damage on the side of Vitor. Doesn't matter. Mohammed Light gets the win. GG, well played. Game number one for Mohammed. What a great, great opening game. And here we go. Game. Number two, Muhammad Light with the advantage. And how can you participate in CRL? Easy answer. Make top 1,000 in Path of Legends, Pierre. Oh, you know what? I realized I saw the chat turned off. There we go. Lots of pigs. Good damage here for Mo to start things off. Hey, Mega Knight out. Why not go Royal Hawks? Barbarian Hut worst. I mean, I, Barb Hut is both uh, not a good card because it should be not good. It should be... Barb Hut should be uh, underpowered because it's not good for the meta. It's not good for the for the game, in my opinion. So, yeah, Barb Hut. Glad it's in one of the worst cards right now. And Modus continues to pile on the damage. And Muhammad Light can eat a lot of damage here in this exchange. And that puts Vitor right back in it. You know what? I am... I'm going to go do something really quick. Can I do this? Let me see something. Uh, that would be fun. If I could figure this out really fast. Where do I... You know, I'll do it next time. Gotta do some, some channel some channel cleanup, some customization here. Oh, maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll do it. Let me... That's general, that's channel. Advanced settings. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, let's see, filters. And now let's add a new blocked word, folks. Are you ready for the new blocked word? I just I just blocked it. Let's see if it'll work now in the chat. That I might have solved I might have solved our chat problem, folks. I might have just solved it. Vitor down, but not out yet. Interesting choice here for Vitor. Going to go try to cycle double hogs here. Has to control this Archer Queen, and he does. This double hog idea, not going to do much, I don't think. No, the hog escapes. The hog escapes the tower and gets two big shots. Oh, my word. <laughs> People starting to figure out. People starting to figure out what I did there.
down. Oh, this is going to be very, very tight. This is going to be very tight indeed. And Mohamed Light gets it done by 34 HP. And you see Vitor laughing too. These guys are very good friends. And what a crazy finish. Let me go ahead and queue up the replay for this one. I was a little distracted by all the by all the chat there for a second as people were realizing what I what I did to change things up. So it'll be Vitor and Troy in the lower bracket final. Let's go take a look at this finish. Vitor pulls just a little bit ahead. The hog comes in. The hogs come in. And now we're down to 494 versus 612. Royal the hog rider goes to the right hand side. Tesla pickup, and Vitor is trying, hoping he can get the Evo Firecracker on it. Burns the pigs a little bit. Tesla misses two pigs, and that's really it. Is the Tesla misses two pigs, and that's why you see the laugh. That's why you see Mo laughing. That's why you see Vitor responding the way he did. Was the Tesla misplace, and that's Vitor's attitude too. Vitor's been at this for a long time, and he's not. He's not gonna have a big emotional problem. Hey, he missed. He missed a Tesla. It happens, but that is a, an unfortunate way to lose that game. And here we go, the grand final. Mohamed Light, the winner's bracket champion, just has to win one best of three, and he is our warm-up tournament champion. Droy needs to beat Mohamed Light twice to take that title, as Mo has not lost yet in this bracket in this double elimination format. JRD, I believe the answer to what's card of 144 is 12. Am I wrong? That's just the top of my head. So, mortar to open for Mohammed Light here. Solidaire saying it's unbelievable to see Droy in the final. It's this is big for him. Bold and bashful. So let's see when Droy chooses to bring the RG out first. My guess is that he waits until about 30 seconds from now to go with a RG behind King Tower, but we'll see what happens. Nope. It goes a little bit earlier. And this goes right at the bridge because of the Evo Bomber. But that seemed like maybe a nervous choice. Tomas asking to host a cast host in the Mega Draft tournament soon. Hopefully, we the, we had some stuff planned for earlier this year, and then the sponsor dropped out. So hopefully, we'll be able to get something back going again. And RG goes to the strong side for Droy. His mother was player of all time. Yeah. And this RG will again not reach tower, I don't believe. Oh, does get one because of the rage. Gets two because of the rage. Make me look a fool there, Droy. Sudden death overtime. Droy finally starting to get some good connections. But that's a huge Evo Mortar. Plus the Miner goes to the outside with the protection of the Goblin and that Puts Mohamed Light right back in the lead. 
Stefan saying, Joy looks like Muhammad's little brother. Actually, well, I've met Muhammad's younger brother at World Finals, who, and he is very tall. I think Muhammad Light's younger brother is like 6'2", maybe. 6'3". Droy with about a 50 HP lead as we go into the final minute. Triple Elixir about to flow here. Bomber is just creating problems. For Mohammed. Minor and Moses playing kind of the the fun game here where Joy expects alternate placements and Mo just back to the safe spot again. 993 to 915, 33 seconds left. Ghost up the middle. Knight to protect and kite away from that Evo Mortar. 786, 915. RG will not connect. Minor Poison should win this at this stage. I don't know what the numbers are that you need to be up for if you're Droy to win as you go into those last chunks of triple. But triple elixir really, you know, you think the heavier deck gets more value, but minor poison plus log on top of that, and triple elixir is devastating. Absolutely devastating. Game one for the Pharaoh, and now Droy has the unenviable task of having to win two in a row to try to stay alive here. Again, already guaranteed the 3K, but you know he wants that 7,500, and more than the 7,500, you know that Droy wants to be the guy who beats Mohammed Light in this big opening event of the season. What a feather in your cap that would be to make that happen here. The tea is made from goat milk. I see I see what you did there. Well played. Well played, Nadine. What's a good replacement for which? Literally any card. Here we go. Game number two, Mo with championship point. Can he do it? Can Droy overcome the, the stress of this moment? And mm, drill wall breakers, I believe. How far is Waco for you? About 90 minutes, two hours. I played the Beast about two weeks ago. It was fun. Wall breakers to the right hand side. They should require a response. Zap to clean up from Droy. And nice little sequence there to make sure the Little Prince stays up. Mega Knight, or Dark Prince not available right now, so wasn't worried about that all getting clumped. And now Mo just continuing to put the pressure on, and that's going to be a problem for Droy. He had nothing there. And that is a huge, huge opening. Muhammad Light just storming right through the gates. And the Evo Zap clears the skeletons off the board. Mega Knight to protect the Little Prince. And trying to predict the Miner there with the Bar Barrel doesn't do it. 
And that Guardian, even though it didn't save the Little Prince, still fine. You want to keep those pups off the board. And Droy getting aggressive here as he needs to. Aggression is really smart here. The last thing he wants is to give breathing room to Muhammad. This is a key drill here. It goes to the back, Warbreaker to the front. The miner comes out late and a goblin gets on and that's it. Was it ever in doubt? No, it was not. Evo zap to finish. And no surprises here. The Pharaoh sits on the throne once more. Champion in our CRL warm-up tournament. Add that to his winnings, $7,500, and yet another number one for the number one. Your top three here, Muhammad Light, Droy, and Vitor. Droy's biggest performance so far, let's not over overlook that. Top two in a very difficult event, $3,000. This is a, a, a banner achievement for him for sure. But you come from the lower bracket against Mohamed Light. You already had to beat him twice. Beating him once, as we saw, hard enough. Not able to do it. And Mohamed Light, the king once again. Vitor coming in third place. Nice start to the season. And of course, everyone you saw today had already made it into our top eight for $500. But that's it. That's the championship of our opening event, folks. It has been so much fun. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm so excited to kick off this Clash Royale season with all of you. It's uh, It's been a nice off season, but it's now time to kick things into high gear. CRL starting very soon here in April. They'll be getting more news on that very, very soon. Keep an eye both, of course, on all the Clash Royale esports uh, social media channels, and if you're not already following, uh, if you've already been to esports.clashrail.com, you can get all that information there. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel. I see someone asking, Rich, your next stream is when? I don't know my exact date of my next stream, but we're going to be doing some more, definitely some more stuff here very, very soon, including some lead-up stuff to CRL when it happens, besides just this wonderful CRL warm-up tournament. It's been a blast, and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. As always, be excellent to each other and party on, dude. Peace.